All right, turning to some news from across the state, the Great Falls Police Department answered 104 emergency calls for wind over the weekend, and they responded to car crashes, road closures, fallen trees, and power outages all due to that wild weather. MTN's Lindsay Hyatt brings us the latest. The first windstorm of the new year was one of historic proportions, bringing down vehicles, power lines, and trees. Great Falls resident Rocco Hausman was at his own house repairing his wind-damaged roof when a tree fell outside of his family home. Ironically, we were taking care of my house because the roof was starting to fall off, and then all of a sudden, like, not even 10 seconds later, the fallen tree cost Hausman and his family thousands of dollars. In addition to causing financial problems, trees of this size run the risk of taking out power lines. A lot of what we saw was trees coming down and falling onto power lines and taking the lines down. Sometimes wind does knock over poles as well, but typically it's large trees that, that knock out a line. While the crews did prepare ahead of time in situations like this, the only solution is to tackle each outage at hand as efficiently as possible. The challenge this time was really just how widespread it was. There were so many outages in so many different areas, just really extensive damage. It's just hard to stay on top of it. Anytime we, we respond to a big weather event like this, we're going to learn some lessons from it and just kind of be better prepared for next time. Crews are still out working and learning how to handle a weather event of these proportions in the future, like prioritizing power outages that affect the most people. If we can fix one line that's going to get a whole bunch of customers back in, that's going to be a priority over a line that'll get a couple customers in. Or in Hausman's case, looking out for potential weather hazards, like rotting trees. Talk to professionals that cut down trees, ask them what you can do to get it taken care of. And of course, taking necessary precautions in times of windy weather. In Great Falls, Lindsay Hyatt, MTN News.